Good day. Good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV episode 391. Uh, it's the 2nd of March 2020. Uh, so uh, let's try some chocolate. One chocolate, one chocolate only. Uh, hotel chocolate. English manufacturer, British cocoa grower. They seem to have a, a 140 acre plantation in Santa Lucia. Uh, but this is Nicaraguan um, from the Matagalpa growing region. 76% uh, super milk. So this is uh, cocoa solids, cocoa mass, and cocoa butter. 76%. Whole milk powder, caster sugar, emulsifier, sunflower lecithin. Um, milk 12%, cocoa solids 76%. Uh, yeah. Uh, to, to, to story so they make their own chocolate and buy some beans and make bean to bar artisan chocolate uh, and it's all for ecological fair trade uh, reusable uh, very strange shape actually I bought this in uh, exclusive department store in Stockholm, the capital. And there was a whole showroom with hotel chocolate. You could buy all sorts of pralines and lollipops and bars. So this uh, this looks like uh, I think they uh, emulated, uh, copied uh, uh, the skin of a cocoa pot. So uh, I don't know what kind of bean it. It doesn't say it says it's Nicaraguan. Could be Trinitario or Criollo or, or even a Thoros as well. Very fragrant, very fragrant. Uh, 76 super milk. So, uh, see, quite brown, reddish brown, right? So, it's not Forosteros bean, it's uh, Trinitario or, or Criollo beans. I'd say Trinitario beans to be on the safe side. Criollo is very rare. So let's break off a piece. A different shape for sure. Uh, let's smell this. I said it would had a kind of very uh, noticeable fragrance or almost perfumed. If you if you compare, they compare growing uh, cocoa uh, to growing wine, grapes. I'd say this is a gewürztraminer. It's a, a flowery, a very fruity component. Extremely aromatic. Uh, sort of breadfruit, papaya. Was a hints of, of uh, mild lime, honey, and some uh, dried spice. Dried. Now, dried basil, dried sage, tarragon, but also sweet smell. I guess rainforest smells like this when the, yeah, I guess so. A, a cacophony of smells, of flavors, of scents. Of... Oh, let's try it. Quite dry, and this is a milk chocolate. Seventy percent, seventy-six percent cocoa and twelve percent milk powder. I think this is the the darkest milk chocolate I've tasted. Very dry, bordering on getting soapy mouth feel of it but there's some there's some um, melon rind there's some papaya there's some uh, white peach but also more like 
vanilla wax very strange and very dry on the back end you get more you get more uh, spicy and herbaceous notes I said tarragon I say basil and a woody ending green is if you use the sandpaper and, and, and just polished some dark wood you get that feeling and, and flavor as well well nice but yet confusing uh, I'm going to give this uh, 7. So, what I'm lacking to give it 8, 9, or 10. Maybe I lacked some um, fresh notes. Even though it's fruit, tropical, there's no freshness. The, the acidity is lacking. That's it. The acidity is lacking. But very interesting, very nice chocolate. 7 out of 10. That's a good thing. And that's it for this Monday, and I hope you have a nice, good week ahead of you. Bye.